Hello. Well, today I am talking about John Wick 2, or John Wick Chapter 2, to be more specific. Again, this is the Steel Book. Um, uh, got this at Best Buy also. I don't know if they even have this specific kind of Steel Book anymore, nor uh, uh, first films. Steel book. Yeah. It's down there somewhere with some stuff on top of it. Anyway, but yeah. I'll just say I enjoy this film. Uh, similar to the first. I enjoy uh, all three of these films, really. Um, though I will say which uh, I like the best in the third video. Um, now, I will get into some spoiler territory. Um... But that's only because it does relate, it will relate to next week's video of John Wick 3, Chapter 3. But, uh, yeah, uh, I will let a warning, uh, before I get, when I get to the spoiler part. So, don't worry, uh, haven't seen this film. If you liked last week, I gave a bit of a warning before, you know, I, talk about what happens at the end of the first uh, film regarding some characters so you know yeah do the same here uh, uh, this film really uh, helps build the world of John Wick um, in this assassin world uh, where assassins is illegal occupation to have um you know the first film uh, you know it's gold coins and stuff which are used for trading goods or uh where you can um, purchase various things which you even see more of in this film like you can uh, go to places for where the high council sort of places are at like bars and such certain facilities that this organization has. You go in here, you know, like Continental, so grounds. Uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, you can go anywhere. If you have like a gold coin, a member of this, we'll get various perks and stuff. So, you know, Get a hotel room, drinks, this, that, what have you. Uh, and you can see more of this in the second film. Um, in this film, you know, uh, there's a new character, Santiago D'Antonio. And uh, basically, he comes to uh, have John Wick fulfill a uh, marker of his, which is an unbreakable bond, a blood of sorts. Uh, well, not really of sorts, you know, you have to, it's this gold like, disc that you got, you know, open up, you stab your finger, you prick your finger, thumb with it, and then you uh, lay it down on, like, the inside where your thumb is, and then when it's complete, the person who Set this in motion. Does the same thing on the other side. And, um... Yeah, basically he wants a, a seat in the High Council, which is, uh... The, the places... Which is are the, those who are in charge of this whole organization. He wants that, he wants that seat. Uh, but his sister has it, and, uh... He has John go kill her. Um, now before this, it does start four days right after the first film, and he goes to get his, uh, uh, car that was stolen from, spoiler alert, the, the brother and uncle of the two, uh, Russians, uh, John Wick killed in the first film, he spares the brother's life after he kills all the men and all that. Gets 
his car back, though it's badly damaged, so he goes to John Leguizamo's character. Um, uh, your name? Yeah. Aurelo. Yeah. He um, goes in, has it fixed up, but gets out of the car. Um, and he just... So that's some other background for the very beginning. And then from there, that's when Santiago makes his appearance. Right after he, his initial, you know, he says like he wants him to fulfill this marker, fulfill this promise, which this was a sort of that, this is what led him to retire and be done with that world and then, you know, marry his wife, who then, you know, as we know, the first one she dies. So he has to do this, and because it's part of the rules, he has to do it. There is no other way. He 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 has to. He has to do it, um, even though he doesn't want to. You know, he he first refuses, but then he's, uh, blow up his house. And then he reluctantly agrees to it, uh, particularly after talking to Winston. And um, saying how he literally has no choice. I mean, he doesn't have to, but he'd be going back and, you know, then that would be another mess there. Like, there's two rules. Like, you have to, no blood can be ever, ever be spilled on continental grounds. And then two... The other rule is, uh, like, all markers have to be, like, you know, fulfilled. You have to close them. So he's got to do that. Um, uh, so he goes to Italy, where she's going to be at a party. He goes... Uh, Front her. Uh, she decides to. Uh, spoiler alert! Uh, she decides to uh, kill herself. She slits her wrist, and because of their friendship of the past, they they have had. You also get a sense of you know, something there a little bit, at least on her end, to him, like you know, she liked him, but uh, either he didn't reciprocate the feelings or. Because of his job, he just didn't think it was maybe like appropriate or whatever. I don't know. I've often gone back for it. Might have to rewatch it again, uh, the film again, and that scene. See if I pick up anything new. Because uh, you know, I've watched them recently before three, so they are fairly fresh in my mind. But you know, I didn't just watch it just before this video but I kind of I'm either conflicting on either of those two options there could be a third option but anyway that's just my thought as of now uh, anyway he uh, you know and he holds her hand you know like, uh, as she dies pretty much afterwards when it's obvious that she's dead he uh, shoots her in the head and then he leaves and then uh Cassian, who's uh, her bodyguard, Gianna's bodyguard, played by Common, he realizes what's happened, and then he and all the other guards go after John. They're all shooting at him. And they have a fight, but then they get into continental grounds and they stop fighting. Uh, and then we also see uh, Ares, an assassin that's who becomes a bodyguard of Santiago, uh, the security enforcer there. Uh, played by Ruby Rose. She, um, she's there. And after a while, uh, uh, she says, like, how she's gonna... Like, she wants to buy him a drink, but he's like, yeah, I have one. And then... Um, 
I only bring her up because she will be important later on in the film. Anyway, I don't give in kind of the rundown of the film, but I don't know. For, uh, I just kind of want to... I, again, there are people who I know who haven't seen the films, so if they watch this, sort of, for them, you know, sort of a rundown. A little bit. Just enough to hopefully entice them. So after all that, uh, goes home. Santiago then has to, on his end, give a, put his thumbprint on marker in the book and the marker. It's all done. But then uh, he puts out a hit, like you know, a bounty on a hit on John Wick, up for sale, uh, for like seven million dollars. And from there, you know, people are now after him to kill him. Uh, he comes across Cassian, and he eventually you know, kills him, or he stabs him. It's presumed he's dead. Um, 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 and uh, he goes, uh, and after this, he goes to kill, uh, he goes to kill Santonio, and he gets the help of, uh, The Bowery King, who's a underground crime lord, um, he's played by Lawrence Fishburne and you know, you know, Fishburne and Reeves in the Matrix trilogy. And everybody's like, "Oh man, this is incredible!" They're on screen together in the film together again after so many years. And it's a pretty cool reunion, you know. There, uh, he uh, he helps him out. You know, there's like seven million dollars, but he gives him seven bullets <laughs> uh, to help him and now you know help him get to go to kill Santiago. And he goes. Kills a whole bunch of bodyguards, and uh, um, uh, including spoiler Aries. Um, though he does uh, leave. Yeah, well, with Cassian though, it's it's interesting because he says how he's stabbed him fatally somewhere, where if he removes it, he's gonna die. Though he leaves it in, so it's like you know. It's sort of up in the air, you know, we don't really know what happens to him in this film. Does he, does he, is he dead? Is he alive? We don't necessarily get a conclusion there. Um, just from his words, I kind of thought he was dead, though, than thinking about it, I'm like, is he not dead? Is he really dead? I don't know. But anyway, he, uh, Santiago goes to the Continental Hotel there in New York, where Winston is. And, uh, you know, because he'll be safe. You can't kill him while you're there. Consequences and all. So, spoiler alert here. John Wick gets to the Continental. He heads... Inside, finds Santiago there, and he's just mad at everything that's just happened. So much so, he breaks the rule and kills him in the Continental Hotel. After that, he um, then is uh, as excommunicado, which is, means that. He's no, all, 
everything he could have at the hotels and this and that at the continental anything continental related off limits he can't nothing in you know he has no benefits there he can't be really served there goes in it's like you know essentially like most that's gonna happen is you know continental grounds can't kill anybody so you can't be killed but he gets really no help um, but Winston um, puts this off into an hour you know it'll be in effect in an hour it's excommunicado just out of respect for him and their friendship and all this how long they've known each other and everything just out of respect for him he's just you know for an hour he has time to run Run, do what he can to get out of New York, out of where all the assassins would be. And, uh, yeah, that's essentially it. There's his spoilers. Um, uh, again, you know, uh, Keanu Re you know, uh, Ricardo. Marco, Scamarico, uh, Santiago de Antonio. I've never seen him before, except for this film. Claudia Gini, she played his sister, Gina. Uh, Peter Stormare played uh, uh, Vigo's brother. From the first film, uh, Abram Trezolf. No, no. Yes, this is a, just a fun film. It's a really good film. Uh, again, these films are really good. They're really fun. Acting's really good. Um, choreography of the fighting and everything. Good. <coughs> All great. And, and yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know. That's all I have to say, honestly. Um, nothing much except a reason I ex did the spoilers was because, well, <coughs> it makes sense because of the third film, which I will talk about next week. Because what happens in the third film, you know, let's just do it here. I haven't seen the third, the third film yet. Takes place like literally just before the hour is up, to when all that goes into effect and he's wanted, or to be killed. <coughs> Excuse me. Goes into just before he goes into effect. So yeah. Um. Excuse me again. But yeah, it's a chapter two is really good. <coughs> good entry into the John Wick series. And um, I will talk about what I think of John Wick 3. But no real spoilers on uh, there. Because it's still new. I know some people have yet to even see it. So don't worry, spoilers won't happen if you haven't seen it. So. <coughs> Apologies, but the good thing this video is over now. I can now just cough and hack. In peace. So anyway, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I hope you're all having a good day, having a have a good weekend, had a good week. Hope you'll have a good week next week, and I'll see you next time.